Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Three box, half case, random team break number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Remember, there's no Nationals hit, so we take those out. We don't sell those. We only sold 29 spots. Let's roll it and randomize each list. Two and a three, five times for each list. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five. Two and a three. We got Josh Pruce all the way down to E8. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Looks like Prism is gone, says Mark Matheson. Nice. We'll add that to the schedule in a little bit. St. Louis Cardinals down to their rivals, the Cubs. All right, so Josh, you have the Redbirds, Ryan with the Red Sox, Jake with the Marlins, Fong with the Rockies, John with the Mets, Mark with the Angels, Randy with the Rays, Rich with the Yankees, Mark with the A's, EA with my Dodgers, Brian with the Tigers, John with the Mariners, Adam with the White Sox, Mark with the Indians, Josh Pruce has the Cardinals up for trade, Joshua Lucas gets the Pirates. EA with the Giants, Michael Koontz with the Padres, Kevin Kinney with the Reds, Kevin Rode with the Phillies, Rory with the Royals, Darren with the Orioles, Jordan with the Diamondbacks, Jonathan Kent with the Rangers, Rory with the Astros, Ryan with the Brewers, Randy Ramos with the Blue Jays, AJ Anderson with the Braves, Charles Lastbot Mojo, Twins, EA with the Cubbies. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And we'll uh, pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then the break looks like Royals Astros for trade. So we got all sorts of trade chatter. And we'll see if any deals get done at the end. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A lot of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no, no trades. So time to move on. Time to do this super jumbo. Second half of the case yes. that we popped open a little bit earlier. On the 10th, random team 10. My printer doesn't have, still doesn't have toner. I just went to the other, the other office. We got it right there. There you go. It looks nice. We're going to get a new toner soon. All right. It's on the way, apparently. All right. So remember, we, I marked all these RT10 so you know they're from the same case. Good luck, everybody. So all sorts of crazy things happening in the winter meetings, sounds like. I guess the Corre Carlos Correa being traded, those rumors are heating up. And of course, Strasburg got signed to that big deal over the weekend. Garrett Cole domino may drop soon. Didi Gregorius to the Phillies. All sorts of craziness. Oh, let's let's see well, let's see where all the dust. Definitely more exciting than the last couple off seasons, ladies and gentlemen. Last couple off seasons were pretty brutal. There's not much going on. But it looks like the Braves have been spending early in Austin. So there's been a lot of action. John Heyman saying Dodgers very disciplined in free agency. In recent years are willing to make an exception for Cole. Wow, and are thought to be heavily involved in the bidding. Hard to say who's favored, but they are per uh, perennial winners with deep pockets and seemingly resolve in this case. And then Yankees and Angels are the other teams in as well. So, yeah, I'd be surprised that Dodgers generally have stayed away from making the big free agent signing, splashing them. But I guess for Garrett Cole, they're going to make an exception. I wouldn't mind that. And then Hyunjin Roo is a free agent. Too. I don't know. I would love to have the Dodgers get him back, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I've heard twins on Hyunjin Roo. They could use it. They could use starting pitching. For the Angels, Hyunjin Ru, Korean national, you know, may want to stay in Southern California with a big expatriate population here. Who knows? 
but I love it. I love it. Gilo, what's going on? Lo I know, I love these sausage link packs too. All right, Super Jumbo, good luck. Obviously, paper doesn't ship. Numbered paper will ship. Chrome, all chrome will ship. So all of this will ship. And obviously there is, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna try to separate paper and chrome right here as I go along. There's Clark Schmidt 250. We'll sleeve and top load those before they go out. 10 out of 99, Grayson Rodriguez, and our autograph, Matt Walner. For, we were just talking about the Twins. For the Twins, that'll go to Charles, who got last spot mojo. Yeah, Sean Corbett says, I heard Angels, Rue, and Price. And Michael Madden saying, Twins sign or getting close to Bumgarner. I don't think that's a done deal, but yeah, Bumgarner is still out there. Twins could use Twins could use a bum Garner. Tyler, doing well. How are you? It's all just paper. Numbered paper is placed between the chromes. That way, they, yes. That's usually how they do it. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Looks like there's some gold right there. And be sure to mind the schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. All right. There it is, some gold paper, 35 out of 50. Julio Pablo Martinez for the Rangers. That'll go to Jonathan Kent. And there's Anthony Prado to 150 for the Twins. And your autograph, Reese Hines. For the Red Legs, that'll go to Kevin Kinney. Ooh, Tyler, you're thinking about a little visit to Southern California to get out of the, the gloom? In the Pacific Northwest, well, here's what it looked like at sunset tonight, just right outside our shop. That's me just walking right out the door and out of the parking lot. Let's see if I could brighten that up. There you go. Come visit, <laughs> everyone. Get out of the get out of the snow, get out of the cold. Come visit Southern California. Make a trip to the shop. We got Jackson Coart of 499, and we've got JJ Goss for the Rays. That goes to Randy Ramos. Yeah, Jack, you're invited too. Our shop is open seven days a week, excluding major holidays. And we're open 11 to 8. Lots to do around here. I don't know if we're enough to... <laughs> I don't know if we're enough for a full vacation out here, a full vacay out here, but I'm sure there's other things you can figure out what to do around L.A. Yeah, a quick weekend trip, a weekender. I think after the holidays, plane tickets get kind of cheap, right? Just in general. And we've got Brewer Hicklin to 250, purple chrome. And another red leg, Tyler Callahan. Uh, yeah, well, we got impeccable football, Gabriel. We're trying to complete by tonight in that last 45 minute time slot, if you see the schedule in the chat. I guess we could be a soul destination. I don't know. I would I would mix in a Disneyland trip or something. Hey, if you want to come for just just for Jaspies, I would definitely be flattered. 
There's George Kirby to four ninety nine. And there's Kyron Harris, 58 out of 150, Blue Wave autograph for the Angels. Mark Matson with the Halos. Mark was asking earlier if, who on the A's is good. I'm not sure. Do they? What's Who are their first round? Do they have a first round pick? Oh, Logan Davidson, Mark, is uh, this one's for you too. Logan Davidson is their 29th overall pick, A's 29th overall pick. Out of Clemson. This guy's a second rounder. Yeah, Aaron's down for Disneyland. Disney and Jaspies. Now that sounds like a good weekend right there. Breaks from Disney? That would be pretty great. Oh, you know what I could use? Yeah, Aaron's like, we've talked about the food there before. You know you know what I could use right now? Oh, now I know I should show you that picture of the sunset. It's still kind of crisp here in LA. Kind of cold, relatively speaking. And um, But I could use the a Disneyland tomato soup, and grilled cheese sandwich that they serve there just off Main Street. Mm. Breaks from Disney. I would love to do that. I'm sure there's like a, a like a, a random pavilion or something like that that we can just set up a, a table or two and hang out, do some breaks, maybe. I don't know. Downtown Disney has all sorts of uh, fun stuff too. What's up, everybody? Jason from Jaspi's eBay, presented by JaspiesKidsGrant.com. Last eBay regular night. Do they still have that ESPN restaurant? Down in downtown Disney? That would be sports related. We could probably break out of there. Yeah, it's. Well, I said relatively speaking, Tyler. <laughs> oh, it's gone? Tyler says it's gone too. All right. Are all of those ESPN themed restaurants gone? That was a nice try. Our next guest breaker, Cinderella. Sure, we can get Cinderella out there. Forty-two and rain for Tyler. What about you, Rory? Nineteen. That doesn't even compute in my head. What is the? It's fifty-six. Tyler, come on. Fifty-six. Brr. All right. Next box. Thirty-six and rain for Jack Carla. Get a store in downtown Disney. I feel like the rent in downtown Disney would be even more outrageous than in Hermosa Beach. Kevin Rhodes saying fifth, negative 15 with Will, wind chill in northern Wisconsin? Yeah. I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, Tyler's saying, my girlfriend and I went to the ESPN Sports Zone all the time. Food wasn't great and overpriced, but yeah, all the sports and arcades upstairs, it was great. But sad when it closed. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. But I guess like, I guess like Dave and Buster has like kind of gobbled up that sort of space.
Jose Olmo saying 55. And 11 degrees warmer tomorrow. Wait, where are you located, Jose? Well, listen, folks. If you want to get out of the cold, we do have a 3,000 square foot card shop in Hermosa Beach, California. Very close to LAX. You can do a quick little weekend trip out here. Dallas for Jose. We can do a quick little weekend trip out here to get out of the rain, get out of the cold. We got, I don't know, whatever you like to do, we got it. You want to go to a Lakers game, we got a Clippers game, we got it here. Let's say your favorite team's in town. You know, you can do a little little team and then some Jaspi trip. Quick little weekender. Got the Kings. Got the Ducks in Anaheim. Got Disneyland in Anaheim. So, come by. I think that would be the perfect excuse, right? It's like, oh, hey, my favorite, you know, my favorite basketball team is playing the Clippers or the Lakers. So why don't I go do a little trip there? Watch my team play, and then the next day come hang out with Jaspies. Actually, it would probably make a lot of sense once the uh, – once a new football stadium opens too, you know, when the Rams and Chargers are playing new football stadium, your team might be playing. That's a good excuse to visit Jaspies next year. Dodger Stadium is beautiful. Visit for Dodgers when the baseball games start. Angel Stadium not too far away. For you AL people. Out of 250, Greg Jones, Purple Paper. Yeah, Jack. I mean, not that not that anyone cares about that sort of thing, Jack. There is Sixto Sanchez to ninety nine Green Chrome, and you saw that C.J. Abrams, nice one for the Padres. Mike Koontz with the Padres. Yeah, there could be some Pokemon Go hunting here, Jack Carlisle. Not that, not that we're into that kind of thing, because that game's for babies. I don't play it ever. I'm trying to get to level forty so we can make Jaspies a. <laughs> A pokey stop or a gym. More paper right here. Uh, no, minimum wage is not that. I guess, suppose it should be for how expensive things are here, but. Ooh, Jose Olmos, once you hit level 40, come visit Jaspies, nominate Jaspies as a as a pokey stop. Apparently there's like some review process that like there's like a committee. This is like the, the college football committee or something like that. Some some committee that like has to approve it. I guess make sure it's not like a dangerous location or something like that. That it's not inside like a chainsaw factory or something. <laughs> All right, and we've got some gold. One out of 50 gold paper, Kendall Jenner. And we've got Ethan Small for the Brew Crew. Ryan with the Brewers. Yeah, who do they play? Jack Carlisle saying Lamar or Russell for fantasy this week. 219 out of 499. I think Lamar Jackson has a slight quad issue, but... Yeah, they're not going to start him again for Jets. Yeah, I don't think they're going to start him, right? They already locked up the division, right? I mean, Lamar Jackson may not even play, Jack. That might, that might solve, that might answer your question pretty quickly. Oh, they need to lock up home field. Well, you don't think RG3 can lock up home field against the Jets? I would, do, I would just monitor that, but... 
But I would take, uh, yeah, I would take Russell Wilson at Panthers. And there's Cody Hosey, 447 out of 499, paper for EA and my Dodgers. And the autograph is Gunnar Henderson, Darren McKenzie with the O's. All this is paper right here. And the next bit right over here. Random number block the rest of cup? Um, maybe. If Nick is listening, should we random number block the rest of cup? That's a that's a Nick decision, not a Joe decision, I'm afraid. I have no power here, SKS. I'm just the guy that opens up stuff and talks to you. I have no real power here. We got Clark Schmidt, Purple Chrome to 250. And another Ethan Small. That is for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Ryan. Yeah, I only have card ripping power, SKS. This is, this is all I have. Wait, did we set a date on that? Yeah, it's gonna be, um... See, I don't even know when our grand opening is, SKS. I have no power here. It's gonna be the 25th of January. 25th of January? Is that the last Saturday of January? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Last Saturday of January, grand, official grand... Do we have a, someone to sign here? I don't know yet, but Ooh. we just had a confirmed date, though. Wow. Out of 499, Sammy Siani. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. 42, should we just call up Kobe and say, Kobe, just come up, drop your helicopter on top of Jaspies and come sign. All right, 42 out of 250, Andre Lipsius. All right, so if you want to if you wanna come to the Jaspies grand opening, it'll be at the end of January. Start making your flight plans now, Rory, Jack. SKS, everybody. All right. One more box to go. Look how this paint so much paper. All right. SKS, would you fly out for Jamarcus Russell? No, Jamarcus Russell will not be here. You get Kobe, you'll fly out? All right. Box, last box. Yeah, if you, <laughs> SKS would fly out if Jamarcus Russell provides the purple drink. 
If that's the case, I mean, that'd be quite a quite a grand opening here. Jamarcus Russell, purple drink. It'll get crazy. We'll have, we'll have to get like sleeping bags for everyone to sleep. I don't want anyone anyone driving around. You'd fly out if there was autographed Kobe jerseys guaranteed. I mean, I guess depending on what he signs. All right, we haven't we have not confirmed Kobe Bryant yet. We're just messing around. I don't know who we're gonna get. It'll probably be like I don't know. It'll be like Daryl Henderson of the Rams or something like that. Joe Kelly for the Dodgers. Alex Caruso of the Lakers. Oh, we're, we just opened up our shop a few weeks ago to the public. We're not we're not Kobe Bryant level. Kobe Bryant level yet. Get a charger? I, what about an Austin Eckler? Sean Corey, you come up for an Austin Eckler. I feel like we can get Austin Eckler. I don't know. It just depends on everyone's availability. You know, like. So. All right. Last Super Jumbo box. Good luck, everybody. see who we can get for a possible signing if we even get one at all it's a bit of a process I don't know we're, we're, we're in we're in Hermosa Beach Manhattan Beach maybe like an like an old school Dodger you know I think the people around the neighborhood would like that Obi-Wan, what's going on? So get some Conor McDavid in here? Or Conor McGregor, sorry. Nate Diaz, some fighters? That wouldn't be so bad. Get John Ireland, radio voice of the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. On the on the Mason and Ireland show here in LA, seven ten ESPN. That'd be kind of cool. Get the papers out of here. Chrome right over here. Ooh, Lamar Odom would be pretty great. I love Lamar Odom. I would love Vince Scully. I don't. I don't think he's gonna come out for uh, come out for a little hobby shop opening though. 
All right, Andrew Vaughn, 107 to 150. Great hit here for the White Sox. Adam Ewald. Adam. There you go, man. Your number, what, three, four, five overall pick? Three, third overall pick. And color, too. 107 out of 150. Big prospect for the White Sox. And Adam Ewald will get that one. That's pretty strong. There you go. Out of, uh, yeah, he went to Cal. He's a golden bear. So, since he's a college kid, you may see him up at, up with the White Sox sooner rather than later. Ooh, that would be cool. Trendsetter, that's right. Almost forgot about that. Well, last Saturday of the month, last Saturday of January, that is, Trendsetter, is what we're targeting. I don't think Derek Carr will have plans around then, even though some of his... <laughs> People in the league might. Out of 150, Daniel Espino to 150, paper. And we've got Matt Walner. Refractor autograph for the Twins, Charles. Last spot mojo strikes again. That's out of 499, Charles. Nice. 134 out of 499. Yeah, that's our that's our date for the grand opening. We just we just set it and then we're gonna figure out who we can get. I think that would be a great way to end the uh, January. I think that yeah, that's 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 the last Saturday of the month, right? There's Blaze Alexander to four ninety nine, blazing it. There is Lazardo Armenteros, purple chrome to two fifty. And then we've got Sammy Siani, Pirates, Josh Lucas with the Buckos. We got to 250. Hunter Bishop, purple paper. We got Owen Miller, Speckle, and for the Rays, JJ Goss. That'll be for Randy Ramos and the Tampa Bay Rays. What up, Vinny? Monday. My, yeah, this is my Monday, technically, I guess. Yeah, it's going well. Ooh, what about what if we got Tyler Stump? To sign, to sign here at the shop for our grand opening. He'd do it for free. Uh, I don't know if we have the capacity for that, Tyler. <laughs> I, I, with all the people that will be here, Tyler, I don't know if we have the capacity for that. There, there'd be some, some fire code restrictions or something would be happening. We'll have to turn people away. We got Seth Beer, mm, Beer to four ninety nine for Jordan, and looks like our last autograph is going to be for the Rockies, two twenty out of two fifty. Aaron Shunk, that goes to Fong and the Rockies. Two twenty out of two fifty. Wait, are you are you? Is that a rider, Tyler? Tesla for transportation and. And sleeping arrangements. The soft, soft sand of Hermosa Beach. It's a delightful place to sleep. All right, that's it, folks. Half K Super Jumbo, random team number 10 in the books. Uh, we might as well do a quick autograph recap, huh? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll do more Bowman draft tomorrow. I don't, we do not have any more time for that tonight. Nice CJ Abrams. We got the Andrew Vaughn earlier too. Was, that was pretty cool. And there you go. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.